So someone asked about the pull frick phenomenon, and the pull frick phenomenon is an empiric observation. So if you swing a pendulum back and forth like this, you'll just see it in one plane. It'll be uniplanar, it'll be going back and forth because the two eyes are seeing the same exact same thing at the exact same time. However, if you have a delay in what the right eye is seeing versus the left eye is seeing, and that delay happens to be caused by um, multiple sclerosis related optic neuritis, there'll be a conduction deficit in one eye. We can detect this conduction deficit with visual evoked potentials. So normally with a VEP, there's a positive deflection wave at 100 milliseconds. P100, we call this, in the VEP. So the stimulus is delivered here. That's why it's a visually evoked potential. A potential that is evoked by a visual stimulus at time zero, 100 milliseconds from that time, you will have a detectable signal in the occipital cortex. However, that signal has to be transmitted along the optic nerve, the chiasm, the geniculate, the radiations to the cortex. So it takes a little bit of time for the light to get from there to the cortex. This is what a VEP is measuring. If you have lost the myelin sheath here from demyelination, the conduction time of that axon will be reduced. That's what the myelin does. It speeds the rate of the conduction. And so you might have a right eye here that has 100 millisecond P100, and this one here has a delayed, it's a delayed P100. So this is an increased latency. So when you have optic nerve damage, you can either have a decrease in the amplitude of the P wave, or you can have delay. It takes longer to get the signal there. That delay between the two eyes is what causes the pull frick phenomenon. So instead of the right eye and the left eye seeing the same thing, there's a delay in the signal to the left eye, and so the swinging pendulum will appear to make a circular course. It'll appear to the person that it's going like this because one eye is seeing it in the correct plane and the other one is a little bit delayed and so it'll look like it's making a circle. And that is the pulpit phenomenon.